just want to take a moment to thank the cards for being in our circle tonight. The messages that they bring us, let them be received by whoever needs to receive them, including myself. We know that the cards give us a different perspective, different way of viewing things, just like this Aquarius energy tends to do. And therefore, we trust what the cards have to say before we have any doubts. We know the cards do not lie. And so we thank the cards for being in our circle tonight. Okay. So in, I, uh, I pulled four cards, past, present, and future, and then the bonus card kind of just came out. I didn't pull it. It just fell out. I'm going to move some of this. Let's see. I want this candle to burn. I'm just going to move it up a little bit so I've got some space here. Okay. So I start with our past card. Really good one, actually. Ace of Pentacles. And I actually don't think I've pulled this. I need to go back and look. I've pulled some some other aces, like Ace of Swords, the Lord knows. But the Ace of Pentacles, good stuff. This is, obviously, we've got that one, New Beginnings. We just moved into our Lunar New Year. We moved into the... Um, season of Aquarius. We moved into the first month of the year. We're in the month of one, January, and a new year in particular. And look at this orange and yellow on the card. And I pulled these cards earlier, by the way, but look at the orange and yellow. We are finally ushering in a season of more joy and pleasure. Now, I also want you to realize that this is our past card, and this is reminding us that these past few years have also been fulfilled with joy and pleasure, but we've got to find it. We've got to find the gold. The Ace of Pentacles represents hard work paying off, success, achievements, like our mantra. But it's you reflecting and looking back right now more than anything with this being the past card. It's you looking back on these past two years really these past two years, more than anything else, and asking yourself what gold came out of it, what pleasures came out of it, what joys came out of it, what new career paths came out of it, what new hobbies and interests came out of it, what new relationships came out of it, what new boundaries and senses of empowerment came out of it, what new habits and routine came out of it, right? Look back and find the gold. Find what helped you create more joy and pleasure in your life. Because right now, we're moving into more of it. If we can reflect back and have gratitude for what we already co-created. We have to already see what came about. And trust that as we find gratitude for that, it's going to grow moving forward. So super positive card, you know, new beginnings, new chapters, and a lot of abundance around finance and money and trade and commerce. You know, it's not just money. It's services that we barter. It's insight, wisdom. That's also valuable, sometimes invaluable. You know, we're in the season of Aquarius. We share knowledge because knowledge is power. The solar plexus represents our powerhouse, our core, right? We're, we're gaining power in the way that we trade our energy or the way that we exchange. And we're becoming more abundant in many ways, not just money. For our present card, Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups represents a lot of water, okay? Okay. When we're in the number of five, five represents growth. Five can represent money. Five can also represent moving into more expression, fifth chakra. Okay? Also, when we pull the five of cups in particular, you know, you have all of these cups. Notice the blue in the center around the pink. This is very heart centered around kind of water energy. You might have a lot of emotion right now. I'm thinking about what Amy said at the beginning of the transmission. You know, new moons make us feel more emotional. And when we have a super moon, hello, present card, five of cups, 
we're going to be more present with our emotions. We're going to feel more emotional. We're going to feel more in those lower frequency feelings. We're going to feel more of our internal moon and sacral chakra where the emotional processing happens. And we might have a lot of water overflowing. What happens when you cry? You get all mucusy and you make sounds and all of that. Like you activate your throat chakra. <laughs> when you emotionally express, you activate your throat chakra. So this five of cards is not only saying, hey, you have a lot of feels right now, but you also need to process them and you need to make space. You need to get them out. You need to process them. You need to move them through so that you have more space in your water zone, in your creative sacral chakra for new relationships, for new creative projects, for those new emotional ventures moving forward that you'll be emotionally um, capable and ready for that. You know, kind of unpack the emotional baggage so your suitcase is ready for the next trip, right? The next journey. Woohoo! <laughs> right? Um, the Five of Cups can also specifically represent the letting go of relationships. Now, this isn't always romantic or friend, family, people. This could be relationships with food. This can be really like addiction because there's a lot of cup energy here. There's a lot of water energy. And again, excess sacral energy has to do with not only like excess emotions, like an overflowing of emotions, but also addiction. So we want to make sure right now that we're really paying attention to our energetic exchanges and relationships with everything, with our job, with the things that we consume, with our friends and family and romantic partners, with our digital spaces and tech. I mean, there's a lot of that. We're in the age of Aquarius, the energy of Aquarius. We're moving into a digital age. We're going to want to be careful about our relationship with that addiction as well. So paying attention to all of that, this is a great time with this new moon in Aquarius, this lunar new year to make true change, to shift your habits, to get more in balance and in tune with yourself and to help feel more aligned emotionally. So Take care of whatever you need to take care of in order to find that attunement. Now, finally, for the, um, oh, and by the way, I just want to point out that, you know, 2020 and 2021, you know, 2021 was a five year and then we had 2022 and we're kind of letting go of that whole 2021 with the whole of 2022 part of 2020. So this five of cups, you know, that two plus two plus one, this is also signifying you kind of processing the past two years so that you can grow from it, that number five, and you can move forward. Now for our future card, I find it funny because I actually pulled one of the same cards that one of the tarot readers that I tuned into today pulled. I pulled the world. Again, we have this 2021. I just think we're being told to really let go of the past and invite in a new reality. We've been talking about the um, like pop phrase, new earth, right? New earth, new earth, new reality, 5D consciousness. You know, we're moving into that now. We just discovered recently in a study that the brain thinks in like, 17 dimensions or something I'm I, something between 10 and 20 dimensions which like we can't even think beyond the fourth or the fifth dimension right or maybe the sixth dimension so thinking about you know the concepts of what's to come in our world anytime we have the world card come up especially as the future card it's talking about brand new chapters brand new beginnings new evolutions, both within ourself and our own personal world and on the collective as a whole. We're seeing this happen. Like, look at this card. We've got this androgynous person kind of running through this little wreath or whatever. And this is representing that, you know, the AI, like the growth of AI. We've seen this chat GPT come out. GPT, it's like a mouthful for me. We're seeing a lot of AI come out. We're seeing a lot of um, 
androgyny come out in our world among our society as well we're seeing an acceptance of a more circular fluid gender fluid life there's just a lot of change that's happening on the world um but also within ourselves right we're learning that we're not just one person we're learning that we're both masculine and feminine energy from a chakra point of view from an energetic point of view we're learning that we have to have the balance between the doing and the being, between the yang and the yen. You know, it's all a balance. It's all a circle. And I think that we pull the world card now to say, hey, we have this chance to begin again. We have a new chance to redesign and co-create. Let's embrace that in this age of Aquarius where everything is very alien-like, very androgynous, very green and new and exciting but also embrace that unknown and unsuspecting at the same time. So a lot of excitement ahead for us, a lot of potential, but we've got to be open-minded and open-hearted and ready for it. I also think, by the way, with Aquarius season, this does take uh, take us back to the philanthropy aspect. You know, we're pulling the world card and we're being reminded to say, hey, not only think about ourselves, but think about the world. You know, when you buy this Palo Santo to cleanse your spiritual spaces or hold ceremony, did you get that in an ethical way on a global scale? Was it harvested in a sustainable way? You know, thinking about these essential oils that you use to, again, you know, enhance your energetic frequency, thinking about where they came from in the world, how they came to you, what kind of carbon footprint did they have? How were they collected? Were they collected in a natural way or were they collected in a chemical way? Do they have chemicals in them or are they pure? You know, I collect um, and use most of my oils from doTERRA because I know that they use co-impact sourcing and they're always giving back to the places where they source from. So, you know, you want to make sure that whatever choices you're making in the future, especially are impacting the world in a positive way. Everything we do for this or something better, everything we want to receive is this or for for the greater good, right? You know, this is a time when a lot of us are making vision boards and doing manifestation. And again, I'm going to talk about all that with my own little journey here in just a moment. But I always say that whatever you're trying to manifest, it should always be for the greater good for the greater good of yourself and of the planet and of others and of society. It has to be for the greater good. So always asking for this or something better, for this or something better for the greater good of all. Okay, finally, we had a card come out as I was shuffling, a theme card for the entire next lunar year until we meet again on the next new moon in Aquarius in 2024. We need to keep in mind the three of swords. Notice that those swords are pointing down. There's a red square around it surrounded by a pink square. This is very much root and heart chakra. This is working with your four lower human ego driven energy centers. This is about rooting in to your truths of who you are and also rooting in with your own heart. When we pull the three of swords, anytime we pull swords, it's about making change. It's about cutting ties, moving on, making change. When we pull the three, it's about kind of like rebirth and transformation, moving on again. So this is about relationships again. You know, it's really kind of coming in with this five of cups, asking yourself what kind of relationships you have right now with everything and everyone, and also asking yourself where you need to make change to get more grounded. There's that root chakra. To get more stable, you need to find ways to get rid of the things that are taking away that energetic alignment. And this is a lesson for this entire year, right? This isn't just like right now. This is the work gets started now. You start shifting your habits with this new moon and then you keep going beyond January, beyond this lunar cycle in Aquarius. One lunar cycle at a time, you keep 
going. And if you do it in that way, if you really make the change in that way, then you're going to come out, you know, four seasons from now, you know, again, in this next season of winter 2024, things are going to be totally different for you. So just know that the Three of Swords is coming into our entire lunar year to say, hey, make sure that you are making the changes that you need to make with your relationships swiftly and with ease and trusting that's helping you to root into a better, stronger, more supportive foundation for the greater person that you are trying to become.